Is mushroom coffee everything that people say that it is? Uh, does it live up to the hype? It's everywhere. We're going to break this down by the way you asked me to talk about this. So here we go. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. It's good to see you. Okay. Mushroom coffee. What's the deal with this? Well, mushrooms uh, with many types of mushroom coffee, they go through a drying and extraction process to pull some of the compounds of the mushrooms out, which then get blended into regular coffee. Okay. And that's what a lot of people are doing. And there are a lot of health claims about this. And by the way, it tastes like coffee. Uh, I'm told this. I, you're probably going to say, well, why didn't you try it on your own? It's because I don't drink coffee. Okay. So I had to take the, the <laughs> I had to take the, the words of other people. By the way, if you've tried mushroom coffee, let me know in the comments. Um, do you think it tastes like coffee? A lot of people do. Anyway, you can get mushroom coffee. Um, you can buy it in a lot of different preparations, right? So um, you can buy like mushroom coffee grounds, um, pre-made mushroom coffee, lattes, instant mushroom coffee packets, mushroom coffee pods, um, you name it. By the way, my source is Cleveland Clinic. Thank you so much, Cleveland Clinic. Um, but so what are what are companies and people saying that mushroom coffee do, does? Um, there are a lot of claims. Number one, uh, people and companies say it helps you sleep better. Uh, they say it helps with inflammation, that it helps reduce stress. Um, with regards to inflammation, uh, it helps reduce inflammation, to be more specific. It may strengthen your immune system, supports your memory, increases energy levels, um, and other things like relaxing sore muscles even. But the bottom line is, what's the truth? Is this the truth or is this not? Now, guys, the truth of the matter is about mushrooms. Mushrooms are great. I mean, they've got a lot of great nutrients in them. They really, really do. So you're not going to hear me say a bad thing about mushrooms. No, you're not. But the thing about mushroom coffee is we don't know if those benefits translate to the coffee, if they're enhanced, if they're lessened, etc. Okay, a couple things to keep in mind. Number one, we don't have a lot of research out there that suggests that the claims that people and companies say, the stress, the inflammation, etc. We have a lot of evidence that that holds to, true. Okay. The other thing is that a lot of companies and people are assuming that all the health benefits of mushrooms continue uh, to exist when they're processed and brewed into your morning coffee. Uh, I don't know that we fully know that all the mushroom benefits actually stay after it's been processed and turned into coffee. Um, so that, along with the fact that we just don't have a lot of studies that says that mushroom coffee is, aha, the thing that will do it and you know make changes, et cetera, we, we just don't have that evidence. Also, uh, mushroom coffee can cause some digestive issues. I'm curious to know if any of you have had digestive issues with mushroom coffee, okay? Because a lot of people have reported those. Some people say that Mushroom coffee has less caffeine, but others say that's not necessarily the case. Okay, so don't necessarily assume it has less caffeine. Um, what I would say is this. Um, I always say talk to your doctor because I, I just always think it's the safe way to, to go. But what I would say here is probably for most people, if you wanted to try mushroom coffee, it's probably not a big deal. Okay, if you find some benefit from it, great. Um, just remember that we just don't have tried and true studies that say definitively that mushroom coffee does these things. The other thing I would say too is just make sure you don't overdo anything. A lot of times we get in these health kicks, whether it's pomegranate or acai berry or whatever the vegetable or fruit is of the day, and people sometimes people take in too much and consume excessive amounts. Remember, uh, everything in moderation and you, too much of a good thing. Um, well, let me just say, you can have too much of a good thing. Okay. So don't assume mushroom coffee is the panacea number one. And don't just sort of got just, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, if you tried it and you like it or you don't like it, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, for those of you who may not need or shouldn't eat mushrooms, well, don't, don't do this. <laughs> Talk to your doctor. Anyway, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle practicing family physician, on-air health expert, and video creator. Wanted to make sure I talked about this topic. Let me know what you think. On Facebook, please like and follow my page. On YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. Also, check me out on WhatsApp and YouTube, uh, WhatsApp and uh, Instagram and TikTok at Dr. Jen Cottle. Go to my website, drjencottle.com to sign up for my free health newsletter. Guys, love y'all. Bye.